G'day kids, I had a week in Maryborough. Now as I mentioned in my Maryborough week vlog, my Thursday was absolutely packed. So this is a video just about Thursday. The reason I packed so much into Thursday was I really only had a short trip. So I travelled to Maryborough on the tilt train on Monday and then I travelled home again on Friday. And because of when the Rockhampton tour train runs, my trip up on Monday was in the late afternoon. I got there after 9 o'clock at night. And my trip home was at half past 10 on Friday morning. And that's just when it runs. And there's not much we could do about that. So in order to actually have some rest time to myself, I had to have a really short trip. Now my 2022... Christmas trip to my parents house actually ran long because I got trapped by flooding. The railway line between Gympie and Brisbane didn't exist. <laughs> so because of that I had to stay a few extra days and there wasn't really much to do in town because this was the end of my parents street Okay, so on the other side of those trees way over there is where the river normally lives. And it's it's just come up for a little visit. It's fine. This is fine. And then there was sharks swimming around Queen's Park. So this week I knew I would only have Monday night until early Friday morning. And I put as much as I could in there. And there were a few things that we did that we could only do on Thursday. So I hope you enjoy them. The Maryborough markets have been going since 1987. Same as me. The markets first began as a way to help the region celebrate local farmers and businesses. And to serve as a place for residents and visitors to enjoy all that Maryborough and the surrounding areas have to offer. You can now get anything here. From gemstones to German sausage. Maribara's markets are very popular. The markets are held every Thursday from 7am to 12pm. They're located in Adelaide Street, which is right in the city CBD. The streets are lined with over 90 stalls that feature all sorts of items. The weekly event gives residents and visitors an opportunity to get locally made items as well as locally made food. It's a great way to give back to small local businesses. You can also find local musicians and other performers entertaining the crowds here. I always enjoy visiting the Maribara Market and I'm really happy that I could go there this trip. My last couple of trips, I haven't been able to.
markets, Mum and I went to midday mass at St Mary's Catholic Church. I didn't get any footage inside the actual church and I actually didn't get any footage around the church on the Thursday. So this footage was taken on the Wednesday when I went out for my walk around town. But I really wanted to show how beautiful it is and share some of the history of the church. St Mary's Catholic Church was built in several stages and is built on the site of the first permanent Catholic church in Maribara. Construction began in 1869, with additional stages added in 1884 and 1936. 